look at that. Perch there. Yes, that is brilliant. Look at that beautiful African hawk eagle. Now I wonder where the other one is. They are usually in pairs. So I'm sure the other one is around here somewhere. Now this bird will be perched up there having a look around for Franklin, guinea fowl, um, possibly a rodent. And it'll hunt from the perch of a tree like that. What a great morning. Oh, we've been very lucky. Look at that, the way it's sc scanning. This is Sammy Jane, you excited? It's another bird of prey. I'm also very excited. I, I, I always enjoy seeing these birds of prey. Where is the other one? <laughs> Looking around, trying to see if I can spot it. Um, and uh, I'm almost certain there would be another one around here somewhere. Because they, as I said, they are generally in pairs. Snazzy, you say it's such a beautiful bird. It is. They are lovely. The African hawk eagle. Look at that really sharp beak. <laughs> Julian, you say you love their fat, fluffy legs. Yeah, and you see they've got the feathers all the way down the legs. Scanning these other trees around here. Trying to see if I can find the other one. Some male and pilot chasing each other in the distance, but because I just heard a few grunts, I'm just having a look. Oh, there's an African fish eagle calling in the distance. Probably the one that hangs around Chitra Dam. We didn't see it while we were there. Maybe it's returned to the dam. Possibly hiding in another tree somewhere. Wouldn't it be amazing to see this hawk eagle swoop down and catch something? Vombo girl. Let me just have a look here quickly. That's you know what that actually. Wow! Look at look at that. He's quite low down there. Can you see him? Sense I must have reversed a little bit. Let me just reverse a touch here. Is that all right? There we go. There's an oh, sorry. There's a beautiful gap through there. Look at that. Vombo girl, the um, the food. So, as I said, mainly birds like um, uh, Franklins and guinea fowl and that. But um, I would say, uh, let me just check here what they say the largest prey might be. As I said, possibly you know uh, rodents or or scrub hares or something in the grass. Um, uh, also, rock hyrax. Uh, or a dussy, but a rock hyrax. We do get them in, in these areas, in the rocky areas. See them around. Um, so I would, I would say, I would say probably uh, the size of a hyrax or a, or a hare. That would most likely be the largest prey that they take. They do say that they'd also hunt bush babies. I suppose if they manage to find a bush baby during the day. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's still sitting. It's perched on that other tree.
Paul, uh, oh, no, I'm probably going to get this wrong. <laughs> you asked, what is the biggest bird of prey that we have here? Uh, the largest eagle that we get here. Uh, let's double check, Paul. Maybe let's double check. Okay, so the largest eagle that we have in this area, I would say, is probably the the Marshall Eagle. So let's double check size. Um, I suppose the vultures are scavengers. So let's not look at vultures or some of the or the marabou storks, because those are very very large large birds. Excuse me, sorry. Um, those are big birds, much bigger than the eagles. But let's just look at the eagles, for example. Um, I would say the largest bird of prey that hunts for itself, and that must be the Marshall Eagle in this area. And I just wanted to show you something quickly. There it goes. But uh, Because some of you might have been wondering, what is a rock hyrax? Let me just show you a quick photo before we go across to Taylor. Um, and if you look down here, since a... There we go. That's the rock hyrax or the dassy. Um, and that is what the um, the African hawk eagle can feed on in certain areas where they do occur. Just so you know what a dassy or a rock hyrax does look like. Oh, we don't really see them yet. Not many rocky outcrops around. All right. Okay. Um, now we're going to carry on. Now I do apologize, Taylor. I know she had some birds. Hopefully they're still around and she can show them to you.